Be careful, fellas. Look what we got here. You're kidding. That's a New Zealand cold IPA. Brewed colder than normally. Eight wide. Bit of a story. Six point three percent. Eight wide are one of the best. One of the best breweries in the world, in my book. Garage Project as well. They're a New Zealand mob as well. They're both fantastic. Yeah, nearly every one of the beers I've had, I really enjoyed. Like it's, it's a cut above the rest. They've got good brewers. I know what they're doing. A couple of things here, maybe not really crazy about, but you know, you can't like every style of beer. Anyway, we'll give this one a crack, guys. Nice colour. Cold IPA. I've had a few, not many. Piney. Lovely. Nice and cold. That's lovely on a hot day. It's 34 and a half here at the moment. It's about 5 o'clock in the Arvo. Melbourne's cooled down. I think it was 26 before when I looked. We got the sea breeze over there. We got fucking jack shit here. Anyway. Cold IPA. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing what they've called it with the silly writing. Capitola. Is that what you're getting out of that? Capitola. Capitola. What the hell does that mean? Capital hops. Well, they use three, three types of hops. Chinook, Centennial and Columbus. So no capital. You're fucking kidding me. Trick me. Alright guys. It's, it's like the colour, it's straw sort of flavour. It's, it's piney, but it's not rich and thick like and tropical fruity like your West Coast. So it's, it's different. Same again, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, and that's not really the ones I really love, but cold IPAs. I don't know if they lose a bit of their richness or something when they do it too cold. I'm not sure, but they do maybe don't measure up to a normal one, I reckon. We're talking about the sours today with the um, the guy in the shop, and he said it was a it was a fad like the yo-yo and the fad's over. And he's had brewers come in and said, oh, you better check your sours. No one's buying them anywhere. And I went through and there was three lots that were out of date. And they're going around, you know, and they're pulling them off the shelves now because no one's buying sours. I read somewhere that sour beers are when you fuck up your brew. They go astringent or they go sour. Depends how you, which way you fuck them up. Anyway, there won't be so many sours again. I think they're listening to me. I've tipped a few of them out too. You've probably seen it. You probably didn't because you don't want to watch the sour videos because you're not fucking interested like me. I bought four red ales and got home and they were friggin' sours. They didn't even say sour on me. They tricked me. Pricks. Anyway, <clears throat> won't be seeing too many sours anymore. I don't know if any of you guys like them. Look, I've, I've had a few. I don't buy them. But I've bought the odd one here and there, especially by accident or by trick. And then I've only liked maybe one or two, and that's about it. And the rest are rubbish. Well, guys, I had the tooth out on Friday. It's Monday morning now. Um, <clears throat> the last video I did was the, 
bourbon and I didn't even put it up. I was really fucking crook. Friday morning I had to race to the emergency dental and get it ripped out. And I just went and got on penicillin today. I bought a beer and penicillin. That was pretty good. Bottle shop right next to the chemist. That was handy. They go well, don't they? Beers and penicillin. So I'm on the penicillin for, I don't know, five days or something. What I'll do in the morning, I'll take two instead of one. Give it a big bang. And then uh, maybe have some later in the day before I get on the piss. Before I had something to eat with them before I had a potato cake and a dimmy. You fucking kid me. And um, and then I thought, oh, I better not have a beer. The penicillin's just sort of gone down in between the dimmy and the potato cake. And then I made a big chocolate milkshake up. Oh, it was almost like a thick shake. The top part was thick as fuck. And then I thought, fuck it, I'll have a rest half an hour. I put the video up. And I said, fuck it, I'm having a beer. So, Capitola, if you really like piney IPAs, you, you'll probably like this. A bit light on, 6.3, I think. A bit, a bit light. It's got plenty of flavour, but it's just, it feels like it's missing malt or something. Do with a bigger backbone. Guys, listen. Mm. I think when they do the cold IPA, it does something with the yeast. Anyway, I'm not going into it. All I'm going to say is I don't really like the cold IPAs so far. Yeah, give me a crack. You know, I'm always looking for new beers. There's going to be a lot of space for new beers now. I'm going to get rid of all those sours. You fucking ripper. You're going to get real, real beers now. No sour shit. Rotten crap. Beautiful. So, guys, yeah, I'll be back on top of things end of the week. Oh, I feel pretty fucking average last week, I tell you. I don't know if that bourbon, I had a bit to drink on Thursday night, I think it knocked me about, I fucking went to sleep well though, but then Friday morning I was fucking in pain, the, the tooth was really bad, throbbing, the throbber, you fucking kidding me, I put my plate in and I pushed it up and it sort of put pressure on that tooth, and that's when I discovered it was that tooth. I just had three fucking fillings thinking it was the other one. It's making me crook. Anyway, once we found it and got rid of the fucker, because I haven't got a bottom tooth where that one was, so I wasn't biting on it. So I wasn't feeling any pain at all. Plus I had a root canal, so there wasn't any pain. Anyway, until it was deeply infected and I pushed it. All right, guys, time to get another beer. I bought some... Um, Kirin Ichibars. Last time I did a video on there, it was a big can. I thought it was from Japan, but it was brewed in Australia. And I looked again today. And yeah, these ones are brewed in Australia as well. And my mate over in the States, Louisiana Beer Reviews, Ron, he's, um, Ron J. He's got the name of a, an author, famous author. Anyway... Ron Theriot. Anyway, he said, oh, we, we only get the locally made one. And I thought, yep, he might have turned off before the end of the video because I didn't mention it was um, made here. For shock and horror. All right, I'm going to go back inside where the aircon is cool. This is uh, one of those stinky hot starts of summer. 34. Seven it was before, and I think it's going to be about 40 tomorrow, and then some rain. Hopefully, it hasn't rained for about 10 days, pretty friggin' dry all of a sudden. All right, guys, take care. Cheers.